Then the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah saying, Arise and go down to the potter's house. And there I will show you a work being formed on a wheel. We have come to hear the songs coming from the vessels that have been crafted by the awesome hand of God. I heard a voice from heaven say, who is worthy to open the seals and to loose the book? And there was weeping in heaven, for no one was found who was worthy. Behold, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sins of the world. He is worthy to be praised. For unto him shall be declared glory and honor and wisdom and power and majesty. John the Revelator said after these things, looked and behold a great multitude which no one could number of all nations tribes peoples and tongues standing before the throne and before the lamb clothed with white robes with palm branches in their hands and crying out with a loud voice saying Salvation belongs to our God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. And all the angels stood around the throne and the elders and the four living creatures fell on their faces before the throne and worshipped His Majesty, His Word. Yes. We give you glory. You alone. You know you're the master. So let me just praise you. Mm. And give you glory. <laughs> yes. Let me tell you, you're my majesty. And I worship you. Majesty. You alone are God, and you know you're the king. You are the master of absolutely everything. Give you glory. Yes, sir. Help me praise him. Good God. Yes, sir. 
Thank you for my uprising and thank you for my down setting. Thank you for how you brought me and thank you for how you taught me and thank you how you led me and how you fed me. You made ways out of no ways. Let me praise you. Let me thank you. Let me honor you. Came to give you the sacrifice of praise. Uh, yes, sir. You know what you did for me. You know where you brought me from. You know where you're taking me to. I got my hand in your hand. We're going all the way through. Let me thank you. Good God. Good God. Yeah. Something to shout about. I got something to dance about. Mm, yeah. Thank you. Mighty good God. Thank you, sir. Mm. Somebody ought to give him praise right now. Put your hands together and give him praise. He's God and he's worthy and I feel a shout of deliverance coming down in my soul. Come on and let's praise his name tonight. By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise continually with thanksgiving from the fruit of our lips. Come on, make some noise tonight. Bless his name. Join us in saying the God that we say is worthy to be praised.
give him praise in the house tonight. If you mean to lift him up, give him praise right now. Get up on your feet and Shabbat God. Shout unto God with the voice of triumph. My, 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 my. Maybe you're standing beside somebody who doesn't know what to do with this kind of atmosphere. But walk up to three people and say, let's just praise the Lord. Come on, let's do it, church. and all nationalities and ethnicities we've come from every walk of life we've come from east side west side north side and south side and now we're over here on god's side what is our agenda what did we come to do we came to lift him up and to praise his name in every culture let's do it in spanish Hispanic brothers and sisters, South America and Mexico, Puerto Rico too, come on here. We ought to praise Him in every tongue. These are they who are washed in the blood of the Lamb. They come from every tongue and every culture and every nationality. And over in France, they would say, Lifted up in his word to my French speaking brothers, he is the Lord, he's wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Come on, let's do it all over the world. They're talking about my Lord and your God, he's King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Over in my neighborhood, we just pray. Hey, he's worthy to be praised. 
If it was a business meeting, you still had to have testimony service. If it was an usher's rehearsal, we still had testimony service. And I know we don't do that anymore, but God has done so many marvelous things that sometimes you just got to find somebody and tell them how bad he is. Oh yes, he's absolutely awesome. He can do anything. We're not going to go into testimony, sir, but I want you to walk up to four people and just tell them something that God did for you. Just tell them right now. He healed me or blessed me. Come on, tell them. and open your mouth and let praise fill this room. Just give him glory. Bless his
and you're going through a test. And you say, Lord, where are you? Joe said, I looked on my right and you were not there. I looked on my left and I perceived you not. And I'm hurting. I never thought I would ever have to go through anything like this. Ah, oh, but don't panic. It's just a test. Somebody in this room is about to pass the test. It's just a storm.
we're going to denial and we don't want to deal with issues and we've even been taught to just make positive confessions even if it means ignoring the facts but sometimes you need to be able to open up to God and say God I need something I don't just want to come to service I have a need I need you to meet it you're the only one that can do it. And I'm going to worship you and praise you and lift you up. But while I'm praising you, do Lord, do Lord. Remember my little need. Join your hand that's up with somebody next to you. Just, just touch him right now. And let's touch and agree right in this moment. For that need that's on your heart, somebody's daughter somebody's finances father I thank you because you're a need meter and there's nothing on my mind tonight that you cannot fix we pray God that your anointing would flow and minister right to that thing that's on her mind right now that thing that's on your son's mind. Touch it now. <laughs> the devil shouldn't have let him get in here tonight because I know you're going to meet needs. Let the anointing move across the airways. Let it get in the heavenlies. Let it get in the atmosphere. Touch. When they get home, let somebody see the miracle. Let somebody wake up in the morning to a miracle. Let somebody get a phone call in the next three days, a miracle. Great God, mighty God. You're able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we may ask or think. Meet that need. In Jesus' name, amen. Now witness to three or four people and tell them God's going to do that thing for you. Let's thank you.
he'll do it just wave your hand in his presence if you believe it if you believe he'll meet every need in your life just just take a holy ghost wave and let the peace of god which passes all understanding keep your heart and mind <laughs> Tonight, <laughs> somebody ought to celebrate tonight. Somebody ought to celebrate. If you believe he heard your prayers, you ought to just say, He will supply all. or your marriage healing your mind or your finances 
If you've ever been afflicted or wounded and thought, oh, it looks like I'm going down and I can't get up. All you have to do is step in his presence. David said, in thy presence there is fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. I don't care what's wrong with you, you can be healed right now. Maybe you're wrestling with a sickness. And the doctor's done all he can do. It's not over till God says it's over. If you stretch your hand up in his presence, he can heal you now. That thing that looks impossible and the medicine's not working anymore in the presence of our God right where you are. I speak healing to your marriage. I speak healing to your finances. I speak healing to your children. I speak healing to your heart, to your emotions, to your life too. There's nothing that the master cannot do. <laughs> Trust him. Press your way through the crowd like the woman with the issue of blood. Tell yourself, I got to touch him tonight. <laughs> I need a healing. Heal my marriage right now. Touch my mother, my father, my sister, my brother. Oh God, I'm looking to you. Uh -huh. The Holy Spirit says, be healed right now. Do it now. Be healed. Be healed. Check yourself. God is able to heal you now. Since you're in his presence, let him heal you. Uh -huh. Somebody's little boy is HIV positive and he's sick and he's withering away. God said, Somebody's got a lump in their breasts, they're worried and don't know what to do. God said, Since you're in his presence. <laughs> Oh my God, why don't you let him heal you? Forget about the concert, forget about who's standing around you. Slip in the glory and be healed. Be healed today. Woman, thou art loose from your infirmity in the presence of the Lord. I feel him touching somebody. Slip your palms up. Be healed. Come on. While your hands are raised, just touch somebody's hand, make contact with them, and let the healing power sweep this place. Somebody watching this video, the, the Spirit of the Lord God is coming into your situation in the presence of God. <laughs> His healing power touching you in the hospital, laying in your bed, your body's right with pain. But the Holy Ghost told me to tell you, be healed. I brought you some medicine from heaven. Take a dose of this anointing. Hey, my God, my God, my God. Demons tremble in his presence. Demons tremble in his presence. They tremble whenever Jesus shows up. He commands it. He commands it in the presence. In the presence of the Lord. We take 
take authority. We take authority over cancer. In the presence. We take authority over diabetes. In the presence. High blood pressure. I command you to come down. In the presence. Low blood pressure. I pull you up. In the presence of the Lord. Lupus, you got to go right now. Get out of that house in the blood. The spirit of depression, you've gone as far as you can go. It's over. In the, in the, no, no, in the presence, in the presence of the Lord. I command a healing of your body. Issue of blood, stop right where you are under arrest. The Holy Ghost said that condition is under arrest. Stop, cease, desist. It's over in the presence of the Lord. I feel his glory. Be healed. normally have Bible class on Sunday night but let's just have a 60 second Bible class reach over and shake your neighbor by the hand and say neighbor let me teach you something out of the word of God whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven <laughs> tell your other neighbor say neighbor <laughs> whatever you loose on earth shall be loose in heaven <laughs> to seven people and tell them it shall be done it shall it shall it shall be done it shall it shall shall be done <laughs>
Let's go.